I am so sorry for what's about to happen. I sincerely apologize to my family and most of my friends. I have a story that needs to be told and can only be told by me. It's probably not going to go over very well. But it can probably save a parent from letting their child be exposed to the, the sort of trauma that comes along with the story I'm going to tell. Make your popcorn, get nice and cozy, and get ready for a story about the first time I saw an online penis. Alright, back to this penis. Now this story is not only just a story about seeing a penis. It is so much more in the sense that this story taught me everything that I know about the creation of life. It's not even, not even an entrance. So allow me to set the stage for you. I'm nine years old, just coming home from school. I'm excited as hell to tell my mom that I found an awesome snowboard at Dick's Sporting Goods and I wanted it for Christmas. Do you remember back in the days when we used to hook up the computer and it would make that <coughs> noise? Yeah, you know, this was back in the day when you had an entire room, you called the computer room and just dedicated it to your computer. So what I did was after school, all I really needed was just a, a quicker picker up or after class. So I decided to join my mother in her computer room and show her how awesome this snowboard was. Only to find out that mistake would cost me years of trauma. I just wanted to show her all these awesome snowboards that Dix has to offer. I'm standing behind her and she's looking at the computer and I'm looking at the computer and I'm like, mom, why don't you check out the website so I could show you how amazing this new snowboard is. She's like, absolutely. But what happened next changed the course of my entire life. She went to dicks.com. Let me tell you about their inventory. It's a lot different than Dick's Sporting Goods com. She pulls up this website and the only thing on the page is just picture after picture after picture. Penis, penis, penis. So many, I had never seen that many in my life. I had actually never seen any other than my own when I was a child. It was terrible. Because now I'm staring at this screen that is just flooded with penis. My mother is next to me. I, I don't even know that she's ever seen one. I think at that point I knew women didn't have penises, but I didn't know she didn't. So I'm looking at her, and I'm looking at the penis, and I look back at her, and she goes, well, I'm going to shut this off. I was like, that's probably a good idea, but I still want to show you the snowboard. So here we are, child and parent, as someone who has just inadvertently taught me about sexual health. I needed to know more. I really did. I was curious now. Why? What's the point of that? What is the point of this thing? I found out what the point of that was. But not until I told every single friend I had in school that night in third or fourth grade. We'll just say it's fourth grade. I had told them all that I had seen a penis, multiple P9, on the computer screen. And they were all yipping and yapping going fucking crazy. The next day, I go home from school, and my mom has these books, how to make a baby. Like, here's your penis, here's not a penis. Here's what happens when you use this thing. And she goes, you gotta promise me you're not gonna tell your friends. And I was, I was like, yeah, I promise, I won't tell my friends. I go and tell everybody that I know something that they don't know, and it blows their fucking minds. They're going in a rage. It's fourth grade. Everybody is, you know, burning down the toy section of the classroom. You know, it's like a riot in there. So I'm telling everybody about what happens when a male and a female love each other very much. 
Word gets around to the teachers that I know exactly what kind of game you guys have been playing and telling us that babies are delivered by storks. We don't play none of that. I know about this now. I'm the smartest fourth grader in the entire class at this point. This is a highlight of my life. This is my peak year. My peak year was when I was nine years old and seen a penis on a computer screen. That was the best moment. I can never top that. The principal finds out, you know, tells my mom, hey, your son's been teaching everybody about sex. And I get home and she's like, wow, great job. And I, I was mortified, absolutely mortified. She grounded me and I stayed in my room for like a week and I was so upset and I hate those penises. So I guess the moral of the story is to be careful what your kids or you are watching on this internet, this oasis of vulgarity, just swamps of penis. You could quite literally stumble upon a lake of penises on your computer screen. And it's far too unavoidable. That's all I got for you. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know how you guys think in the comments below. Peace out.